Hello everyone, today I want to do a quick recap on my experience at the World Championship this year in Australia. First of all, it was my first time out of the country and it was a really interesting experience for me. It really didn't feel very foreign, to be honest. We were hanging out in the city for the most part and it felt like a general US city, other than the, you know, driving on the other side of the road thing and everyone had an accent. But other than that, it really felt very close to home. Uh, but I still really enjoyed the experience. As for the competition, I did really well in 3x3. I got a PB average in the second round, 8.72, my first one sub 9, and that qualified me for the semifinals, and I ended up coming in 67th place, which I was pretty happy about. As far as my other events, not really that great at all, but I did well in 3x3. And I did pick up a couple puzzles during my trip. The first one was this inverted house cube designed by Nathan Wilson. So while this is not a custom house cube that he built, it was mass produced by Calvin's puzzle, uh, it does have his signature on it. It's a pretty fun puzzle to solve, and obviously it's a shape shifter, so it can uh, make a really nice shape when it is scrambled. I did actually purchase a custom modification from him uh, in the past. It was a bandaged inverted house cube. So now I have the regular house cube and the bandaged inverted house cube from Nathan. As you can see, it looks really fun when you scramble it. The solve is actually fairly simple. Uh, there's not really anything out of the ordinary. The only thing you really have to keep in mind throughout the solve is the center orientation. So you have to make sure that the edges are aligned because some of the center pieces have two colors on them. For example, this blue and orange center. I usually like to start with the blue and orange center because it is opposite of a red center. So that way I don't have to deal with center orientation when I'm solving the last layer. And here we go. I just skipped through that whole solve because it was probably not very interesting and most of you could figure this out. So that is the inverted house cube designed by Nathan Wilson. Very fun puzzle to have in the collection, although it's not any more challenging than your typical 3x3 shape mod. Still really fun to have, and I appreciate the gift, Nathan. The second cube I picked up, I just found in a souvenir shop, uh, but they happen to be selling picture cubes, and I decided to pick one up. I expect this thing to turn terribly, but that's really not why I bought it. I bought it because of the pictures on it, and I wanted to remember my trip. So here we have Sydney and Melbourne, which is conveniently the two cities I visited when I was in Australia. Then we have a koala and a kangaroo. Then we have Great Ocean Road and Whitsunday Island. Either way, let's go ahead and see. Oh, not bad. Oh, that's bad. Okay, that layer's not bad. That one's kind of bad. This one's even worse. This one's not bad. This one's kind of meh. This one's not bad. Let's go ahead and scramble this thing. Believe it or not, it's breaking in. Like, I can actually kind of turn it quickly and do finger tricks. I think the side I'm going to start with is the koala. There we go. Okay, I finally got the koala done. I think I actually started with, like, one of the hardest faces to do. But I was able to use these sides around here to help me figure it out. So all the sky together, all the horizon together, the ears of the kangaroo, and the city skyline here. So I can now move on. Oh, I didn't think about center orientation. Boy. Okay, that's fixed. Now that one's correct, that one's correct, that one's correct. And I believe that one's correct too. Okay, that's pretty quick. The first two layers are done now. So we have the kangaroos, uh, Melbourne, this island, and Sydney. And the koala's still good on top. Now we just need to figure out this place here. Alright, and that should do it. Great Ocean Road looking good, the kangaroos looking good, everything is looking back to normal. Nice. So the reason I started with the koala on top was because every picture would be uh, facing upright like that, because if I had picked like Melbourne for example, uh, this one would have been sideways, that one would have been sideways, that one would have been sideways, that one would have been sideways. It would have just been a bit more complicated. I mean, technically, I wasn't, I was doing it like top first, so maybe I would start with this one next time and build them from the bottom up, uh, but I did like top down beginner's method. Either way, it's just a fun way to remember the trip and I will probably never solve it again.
I probably will. It's fun. Also, I made the video for Worlds on the Cubicles channel, so if you want to go check out the video that I made for Worlds, you can go to the Cubicles YouTube channel and check it out. So that is a wrap on my Worlds experience, first time out of the country. It was a lot of fun, and I would love to do it again in two years if I have the opportunity to. So for now, I'm going to be focusing on U.S. Nationals coming up next weekend, August 1st through 4th, and I hope to meet a lot of you guys there. So that's it for this video. Look forward to some cool unboxings in the future, and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.